Only 15 kilometers away from the Sino-Indian border, China is building the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway. Why is Vietnam more concerned than India? Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is finally coming? According to news a few days ago, China will focus on promoting the preliminary work of the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway project this year. This railway is close to the Sino-Indian border, only 15 kilometers away from India, and some sections with wide views can even reach the hinterland of India. Therefore, the railway has attracted widespread attention in India. But at the same time, Vietnam also attaches great importance to it. What is going on? Let us take a closer look in this video. The Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is a strategic railway planned by China to connect Xinjiang and Tibet. The starting point is Yeqing Station in Kashgar Prefecture, Xinjiang, and the end point is Lhasa Station in Lhasa, Tibet. The railway passes through Aksai Chin and passes through Hotan, Ali, and Shigats along the way. According to the plan, the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is about 2,000 kilometers long. After starting from Yeqing, it goes south along the Tiznapu River into the Kunlun Mountains, then crosses the Korea Pass and continues south into Tibet to reach Geji County and connects to the Shigats Railway at Shirkwan River in Oli Prefecture and then connects to the Lhasa Shigats Railway. The Lhasa Shigats Railway, which connects Lhasa and Shigats, is about 253 kilometers long and was completed in 2014. The railway is an extension of the Qinghai Tibet Railway and is also an inter regional trunk railway that connects the east and the west in the Tibet Railway Network. In the future, Lhasa will become a key node for the Xinjiang Tibet Railway to connect with the railway network in the hinterland of China. In addition, the Kashi Hotan Railway, which connects Kashgar to Hotan, is 484.55 kilometers long and was opened in 2011. In other words, the only part of the Xinjiang Tibet Railway that has not yet been officially started is the Hotan Shigats Lhotse section of the Rai Railway. This part of the line is more than 1,600 kilometers long, of which 83% is located in Tibet. Since it is necessary to cross 10 snow capped mountains along the way, the terrain is extremely steep. In addition, the altitude along this railway is basically above 4,000 meters. The plateau area is low temperature and lacks oxygen, and the oxygen content is almost only 40% of that in the inland areas. The lowest temperature in winter can even reach minus 40 degrees Celsius. Coupled with the remote location and lack of materials, the construction difficulty is beyond imagination. This is also the main reason why China has been planning for more than 10 years and has not started construction. But recently, good news came from this railway. It is reported that the preliminary measurement work of the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway project has been completed. Next, the remaining preliminary work of the project will be accelerated. This means that the official construction is getting closer and closer. Relevant people analyze that it is expected that it will enter the construction stage in the next two years. Once completed, Xinjiang-Tibet Railway will become the most convenient passage between the two autonomous regions of Xinjiang and Tibet in China and will also be the railway artery connecting China's northwest and southwest regions. After Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is connected to China's existing railway trunk lines in the future, China's railway network will form a perfect closed loop. With the help of Xinjiang-Tibet Railway and other railways, it can be connected with various regions across the country, which is more conducive to strengthening cooperation and exchanges in economics and culture between China's southwest and northwest. 
and southeast and northeast regions and promoting the economic development of the Northwest. At the same time, as the Belt and Road Initiative is accelerating trade exchanges between China and Central Asia, South Asia and other countries are deepening, and many border cities in Xinjiang and Tibet are also welcoming new development opportunities. With the continuous improvement of the China-Europe Express and the Eurasian Continental Bridge, Xinjiang-Tibet Railway will connect with the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan Railway in the future, becoming the most convenient passage for China's northwest and southwest regions to reach Europe. Xinjiang and Tibet will therefore become key nodes in the entire Eurasian Continental Transportation Network. In addition, Xinjiang-Tibet Railway will also become a key link in China's three-dimensional border transportation system, which is crucial to stabilizing the border. Over the years, China has built a number of new villages in border areas, such as Baiyang City, Luowa New Village, Shikanhe Town, etc. These new towns are important fulcrums in China's strategic layout. Two-thirds of the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is located on the Sino-Indian and Sino-Bhutan borders, most of which are located on the Chinese side of the Sino-Indian middle and western sections of the border, and the closest to India is only 15 kilometers away. After completion in the future, the railway will become a key link connecting important border towns such as Shikanhe, and will cooperate with the border road network and airports to connect China's important border areas as a whole, which will help further strengthen China's strategic output capabilities in border areas. At present, India still occupies China's border territories such as southern Tibet, and continues to deploy a large number of troops to the border, build airports, roads, and other infrastructure. Recently, India has once again sent 10,000 troops to the border to strengthen its strategic presence in the border area. At the same time, an unveiling ceremony was held for the Sila Tunnel built in southern Tibet in March this year. The tunnel is 2,535 meters long and passes through the Sila Pass, connecting to Tavang. The Tavang area is located between the Himalayan ridgeline and the McMahon line, and is the closest area to China's actual control line. Before the Sila Tunnel, India could only rely on a small road about 3 meters wide to reach Tavang. Since the Sila Pass is over 4,000 meters above sea level, it is inaccessible for at least two months in winter, which often forces the Indian army to interrupt its supply to Tavang due to bad weather. But after the completion of the Sala Tunnel, this problem can be greatly improved. Since 2019, this tunnel has been built for five years, and India has invested a lot of manpower, material and financial resources. Although the ribbon-cutting ceremony for the opening of the tunnel has been held, it is expected that the actual use of this tunnel will hardly achieve the expected effect of India. However, in contrast, once the construction of the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is completed, it can be regarded as a key step in the overall strategic layout of the Sino-Indian border. With a strong transportation network, it can respond quickly. Therefore, this Xinjiang-Tibet railway plays an irreplaceable and important role in undertaking China's national defense transportation and logistics supply. At the same time, the Xinjiang-Tibet railway will be connected to the China-Nepal railway in the future. The railway will also be a convenient channel for China to enter southern Tibet thus creating favorable conditions for China to recover the entire southern Tibet. Vietnam is the easternmost country on the Indochina Peninsula, bordering China to the north. In recent years, China and Vietnam have been actively promoting three high-speed railways in northern Vietnam connecting the capital Hanoi.
These three railways will cross the China-Vietnam border and connect with the Yunnan-Guangxi Railway in China. At the same time, Vietnam is preparing to restart the domestic North-South High-Speed Railway for the third time. This high-speed railway connects Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, and Ho Chi Minh City, the largest port city in the country. After the completion of this railway in the future, it will connect with the three high-speed railways in the north that China and Vietnam are building, and Ho Chi Minh City will be able to directly connect to southwest China by land. Once the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway is completed and open to traffic, Vietnam can use it to connect to the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan Railway to the west and achieve track connection with Europe, thus truly becoming a part of the Eurasian Railway Network. This will be a major development opportunity for Vietnam. At present, Vietnam's manufacturing industry is developing strongly. In recent years, Vietnam has also been continuously attracting foreign investment and actively transforming from low-value, added labor-intensive industries to upstream industries in the value chain. In this case, developed transportation and other infrastructure are needed to pave the way for it. Previously, Vietnam also hoped that China would provide it with high-speed rail technology and experience sharing in order to build the North-South High-Speed Railway, but Vietnam has not made up its mind on this high-speed railway. After China stepped up the China-Laos-Cambodia Railway project with Laos and Cambodia, the East Line project of Vietnam's North-South High-Speed Railway became less important. In the future, the China-Thailand Railway, the China-Laos Railway, and the China-Laos-Cambodia Railway will have the opportunity to reach Kashgar via the Xinjiang-Tibet Railway, thereby connecting with the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan Railway and truly forming a closed loop of the Pan-Asian Railway Network. In the future, all countries along the Southeast Asian route will gain more benefits from it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.